And then next on here, we have this pretty crazy, yeah, we have this pretty crazy article courtesy of Business Insider. It looks like Elon Musk has got himself in a bit of bother, man, a bit of bother. According to Insider, Business Insider that is, a SpaceX flight attendant said Elon Musk exposed himself and propositioned her for sex. Documents show the company paid her 250000 for her silence. I'm really, I'm really puzzled by this whole, I got paid for my silence, but let me tell my story thing. What happens with that in the US? If you sign an ND, I'm assuming you sign an NDA, right? You have to, to get the money. Like if this happened and somebody pays you off, doesn't that void the money you get? You Or can, or can you fight it? Can, like, yeah, that's what I would say. If you sign an NDA and you accept some money, some hush money, basically, but then you go on to speak, does that mean you have to give the money back? Or, or is that like a double dip method? Like if you're a victim and you, you someone bought your silence, but then later on you're like, you know what, I changed my mind. That was too much of a traumatic experience. And I don't think 250000 actually is enough compensation to make me feel all right with it. So you're like, fuck it. You break your NDA. You speak again in the hopes that you can double dip because you already spent that 250 anyway. And then when you go take them to court again, they're probably going to settle for way more than 250 because they just, just want to quote unquote shut you up and move on. Maybe. But then again, if you're Elon Musk and you didn't do it, this is some really interesting timing considering what's going on with Twitter, considering how he mentioned the other day that he, you know, never votes Republican, but he's actually going to vote Republican and new in, in, in the new, in the coming elections and stuff. And just in general, it seems like his public reputation in the US isn't the greatest. People really don't like him that much um, for whatever reason, maybe because he's trolling and he's shit posting, maybe because of his views, maybe people still holding that um, that thing with the, what was that, that diver? Remember that diver when those kids got trapped? Is someone got trapped in some tunnel and he called one of the guys a pedo or something? People didn't like that, but yeah, some really interesting things. So this story comes to his insider. If it says as follows. SpaceX, the aerospace firm founded by Elon Musk and the world's wealthiest man, paid a flight attendant 250000 to settle a sexual misconduct claim against Musk in 2018. He's so horny. The attendant worked as a member of the cabin crew in a contract basis for a SpaceX corporate jet fleet. Okay, so I was wondering, where, where are their flight attendants from SpaceX? But I guess to ferry the people who work for SpaceX back and forth. That's interesting too, because Elon Musk doesn't, doesn't travel on normal planes. He only travels private. There's someone on Twitter who has like a tracker that tracks every flight he takes and stuff, um, which he obviously isn't pleased about. But I guess it's like public, it's publicly available information because I guess you have to be in the in the skies and whatnot. I don't know how that works, but yeah. Um, anyway, it continues. She accused Musk of exposing his erect penis to her, <laughs> rubbing her leg with Atkinson and offering to buy her a horse in exchange for an erotic massage, according to interviews and documents obtained by the insider. Yo. That's a very specific allegation to say to somebody. So I'm leaning on believing this probably did happen. To say somebody showed you their erect penis, rubbed your leg without consent, and then told you they were going to buy your horse. It's like, what? Because I'm assuming this lady must have been into horses and mentioned something before. It's like, yeah, look, you remember you said that horse you said, right? Yeah, I'll get it for you, babes. Just let me touch your leg one more time. Yikes. The incident, which took place in 2016, is alleged in a declaration signed by a friend of the attendant and prepared in support of her claim. The details in the story are drawn from the declaration as well as the other documents, including email correspondence and other records shared by insider by the friend. According, oh, so the friend's the one who was exposing to it. Oh, it's good. Um, good way to kind of take away you take yourself away from it according to the declaration the attendant confided to the friend that after taking the flight attendant job she was encouraged to get licensed as a masseuse <laughs> what is with these guys and getting massages what is with these creeper guys again i'm not saying elon musk is one but people in general who get accused of what they get accused of what's with the massage is a massage like a cheat way to get somebody to touch you so that you can go and do the thing that you actually want to do or do they really get off on massages? Like, that's their thing. Because if it's, if it's your thing, just do what Robert Kraft did and allegedly did and just buy a whole place and go in through the back door and have, you know, loads of lovely Asian ladies like masseuse you until you're flipping, you know, until you're covered in jizz. Like, why not? Do that, innit? Why are you going and harassing people who are just trying to do their jobs? That's what I don't understand. There's professionals out there who legitimately do this as an occupation who will be glad, gladly give you a happy ending and then here you are harassing flight attendants weird 
It was um, during one massage in a private cabin on Musk's golf stream, G50ER. They even got the, the flipping code for it. She told the friend that Musk propositioned her. After insider contacted Musk for comment, he emailed back to ask for more time to respond and said there's a lot more to his story. So he, he didn't actually do it. He just asked her, hey, would you mind jacking me off? Is that what they're saying? If I were inclined to engage in sexual harassment, this is unlikely to be the first time in my entire 30-year career that it comes to light, he wrote. Calling the story a politically motivated hit piece. You can't blame him, though, because the timing of this is eerie. Elon Musk has been around for ages. People have hated Elon Musk for a while. His public reputation hasn't been the greatest for a long time. There's a group of people out there who are really... Elon Musk sycophants and they love everything that he does and they excuse everything that he does and they suck him up in public and they pretend they know him and they're, they're his reply guys and there's a whole subsect of people on the internet who make it their mission to prove that he's actually dumb that's a really strange one there's a lot of them on Twitter like oh this guy is so dumb he's not as smart as he says he is it's like mm, I don't know about that. that's a weird thing to he might be annoying but to call him dumb is a bit of a stretch maybe dumb in some things but overall you know he's probably smarter than your average but um you have to say that if that's true, if what I said is true about him not being liked, it would be weird that this would be the first time someone would try and bury him with a sexual misconduct allegation or sexual assault, whatever it may be, right? Because there's plenty of time to do it beforehand. Why would you wait now? Do you know what I mean? Maybe it, it hits different now because he's trying to buy Twitter and his exposure has never been greater. But, you know, this has always been a very famous dude. You know, like this could have been something that... Imagine if they would have done this straight after he went on flipping Rogan and smoked weed. Or, you know, ba barely inhaled. Imagine what that would have been like. Insider extended the deadline and re and, re uh, and reiterated the offer to Musk to comment on the claims he did not respond. Uh, reached via cell phone, SpaceX Vice President and Legal, Christopher Kardishi said, I'm not going to comment on any settlement arrangements. SpaceX did not respond to the request to comment on this media. Allegations that Musk offered a horse in exchange for an erotic massage. <laughs> Flight attendant told her friend, that the billionaire SpaceX and Tesla founder asked her to come to his room during a flight in late 2016 for a full body massage. The decoration says when she arrived, the attendant found that Musk was completely naked. <laughs> oh, honestly, these guys are massages and being naked. Absolutely psychos. Except for a sheet covering the lower half of his body. During the massage, the decoration says Musk exposed his genitalia, then touched her and offered to buy her a horse if she would do more. Referring to the performance of sex acts. The attendant who rides horses, okay, there you go, declined and continued with the massage without engaging in any sexual conduct. The attendant is not for sale. The friend's declaration said she's not going to perform sexual favours. The incident occurred during a flight to London. Okay, so she continued doing her job. Then when she stopped, when, when it finished, she then reported him, I guess. In an interview with Insider, the friend de described the attendant's allegation in more detail. She spoke on the conditions of anonymity, citing fears of personal safety. But Insider is aware of her identity. Insider is also aware of the flight attendant's identity, but is not naming her because she is claimed to be the victim of sexual misconduct. She declined to comment for this story. So why is a friend coming forward then? But oh, okay, I, I think this is more so to kind of, you know, make sure no one's blamed. So a friend who wasn't assaulted is now coming forward with the story. Interesting, isn't it? Maybe they're, maybe they're both, hmm, I don't know. Interesting, isn't it? Maybe they both just want to get a payday. Who knows? Um, he whipped out his penis. It was erect, the friend said. And he started propositioning her like he touched her thigh and told her he would buy her a horse. And he basically tried to bribe her to perform some sexual act. Okay. Look, man. Who knows what happened? Did it happen? Did it not? I'm not too sure. Um, according to Elon Musk's Twitter account, he seems to argue that it's not such a thing. Let's actually go to his replies and things and see what he's been saying because he's been tweeting a bunch about everything that's been going on and basically reiterating that it is not true. Um, what it says here, uh, Elon, business side of Elon Gage, someone said here, generated interactions with both fans and character detractors of Elon Musk. Detractors want to destroy him. Bots and fake accounts play a role in Elon Musk's character assassination attempt. Here's what happened. Okay, this is a tie-in with the whole like bots are, you know, rampant on Twitter thing. Cool. Someone said here, David Day, Dale said, it would be amazing if accounts had flags that they knew had unconfirmed email addresses or phone numbers, etc. I don't want to mute them. I just want the idea of how likely it is that they're human. They will. Okay, cool. So that's what it's going to be doing going forward. Important if you want to reduce bots and spam. Uh, okay. Da, da. Another one says, uh, no, we don't care about that one. 
yeah, um, Elon Gate, cool. That's the, that's a pretty good name for the whole scandal going on. Let me see what someone's just saying here. Come on. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, statement from him. Uh, Sussman, I guess, about the allegations. Uh, talking about Clinton's lawyer. Some, this, what, he said something recently about something. He commented and said, basically, this isn't true. What did he say? Why isn't it loading here for me? Okay, maybe I have to go back up. Let's see. Maybe if I go back up, it'll show it. But I'm pretty sure he made some comment about it in general that I thought was fairly interesting. What did he say? Or did, or did he delete his tweet? I don't think so. Let's see. It continues on. Uh, come on, let's go. Uh, 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 uh. Was it a party more moderate on all issues than reps and them would be ideal? He said, this is what most people in america want but unfortunately it's not realistic generally the party with less power currently republicans at national level moves more forward more towards center to win moderate votes so control of the house and senate goes back and forth over time um he says here in the past i voted democrat because they were mostly the kindest party but they have become the party of division and hate so i can no longer support them and will vote republican so he says it you know with his chest now watch their dirty tricks campaign against me unfold Judging by the relentless hate stream from the left, this tweet was spot on. Okay, cool. So I guess him coming out and saying he's going to vote is obviously affecting him. Maybe he deleted that tweet that I'm looking for, actually. Maybe he might have deleted it. But regardless, he was saying it was, a, it was all part of an attack against him because he's trying to buy Twitter. It was politically motivated. There's no credence to it. It's more to the story. And then he said something like, oh, um, whoever was the victim, I want them to come out and say something about my genitalia. Like, is there scarring? Is there something like, out? you know, there has to be proof. Like, you have to come out and say something, some proof. If not, you're just talking or something like that, isn't it? Which is weird. Because what, does it mean he's going to put a picture out of his flipping dick to show people that, you know, it wasn't him or something? That's going to be wild if that happens. And I wouldn't be surprised if he if he did do such a thing. This is Elon Musk at the end of the day, isn't it? <laughs> oh, 